Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Elite Sports Shooting. My name is Jeff. Today I've got the A400 Extreme Unico. But before we get going, if you haven't yet clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. And at the end of the video, if you like the content of the video, click that like button. I would really appreciate it as well as if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will also leave a link to the products that I use in the video so that if you're looking for the same product that you could actually, you know, jump right to it. So anyways, the A400 Extreme Unico is very similar to the A400 Extreme Plus. Now it does have some differences. So the A400 Extreme Plus actually has a, a, a nice soft cheek pad. Uh, this one is a composite material. It's fairly hard, but they both share the kickoff recoil reduction system and they both have that gel butt pad. So it actually feels really nice. Now, another thing, and another thing that sets them apart is the uh, bolt carrier. So the charging handle and the bolt release. So this is actually pretty standard as far as, as far as, you know, charging handles go, but the Extreme Plus has a, uh, just an oversized uh, charging handle and the oversized bolt release, which is very, very nice. Like it, like this one here is fairly stiff to press and I have actually cut my finger uh, at the range because I was trying to hit a, hit, you know, a couple of clays and I had a jam. So I went and I just tried to rack it really quick and I actually cut my finger and I was pretty upset. But anyways, the, uh, the stock is, is a flat black composite as, as well as the, the, the foregrip, but it does have a rubber grip that feels really good in the hand. It's got the, the rubber grip on the rear grip as well, uh, along the pistol grip. It's ribbed all the way back. So it actually feels really good. Like th it's not going anywhere. So I've actually had it out uh, when it's wet and I never had a problem with slippage or, or anything. So one thing I will say that I, I, I don't know, I like or dislike when to, to hold the, to hold that bolt open, that bolt carrier open, you actually have to click a button. There's one, maybe two shotguns that I have where you don't have to press a button. It just automatically locks it back every time. But um, the, the feel is really good. Like it's a really, really nice looking shotgun. It's got that gray Cerakote finish and a flat black finish on the barrel. It is a chrome line barrel, steelium barrel. And this shotgun actually came with three choke tubes. It came with a really, really nice case as well, but I never keep it in their case. I always keep them in gun socks, in a uh, Gugaluza gun sock. They're 52 inches long. And this was the shotgun that started my, my, uh, my whole, I gotta get gun socks for every, for every shotgun because I had scratched the, uh, the underside of my barrel. When I pulled it out of my gun safe, I thought I could actually pull it down. I was actually wrong. I ended up scratching it. I ended up uh, just kind of getting some touch-up paint and, and, and painting it. But anyways, it's a gas-operated system. It breaks down in seconds. 
um, and, and I really love how quick and easy it's just literally a quarter turn or a third turn with the end cap with, and it literally just pops right off this here is a three and a half inch shotgun chamber so it shoots two and three quarter three inch and those big three and a half inch magnum loads and where it actually says it it's stamped on the side of the barrel if you're ever wondering refer to the owner's manual look at the side of the barrel make sure the ammunition you're using is right for the the, the firearm that you're shooting so this one here says uh beretta made in italy 12 gauge unico two and three quarter three inch and three and a half inch now i've shot the big three and a half inch rounds through this it takes it like a champ the the light target loads when the gun is not clean and i am very meticulous when it comes to this shotgun actually all my shotguns when when cleaning the pump action shotguns i usually clean them every second maybe third um, i have uh, two actually got our inertia operated uh shotguns and i clean them every so often the gear son i'm actually haven't cleaned it at all I am going to try to, you know, to see how many rounds I can put through it before it starts to foul or, or give me problems. But I already know that the Beretta A400 is, it, it likes to be clean. So this gets cleaned every time I shoot. And I, I will actually do a video uh, where I've taken it apart and cleaned it. So my overall opinion of this shotgun is actually really really good it shoots really nice it mounts really nice the i don't think i mentioned the length of pull because my computer had just shut down and the length of pull is 14 and three quarter inches so for me i am six one so that 14 and a half, 14 and you know, three quarter is actually really good. It's actually perfect for me. I do like the cheek pad on the A400 Extreme Plus. This feels like it punches me in the cheekbone uh, uh, like a fair bit just because of, of, of how I have to mount it. It does this Unico has a flush mounted uh, vented sight rail with the red optic four bead. Now, since the A400 Extreme Plus has a little bit of a ra uh, raised rail, which I really liked, I got, a, I got a fairly decent price on this. So the MSRP on this was $27.75. It's not what I paid for, but that's what the MSRP on it was. Here in Canada, I don't know what it was uh, worth in the States, in the United States. But um, the cross bolt safety is a front cross bolt safety. I kind of like that. My Mossberg was a Tang mount, and that's what I was born and raised on but this was the second and i actually like that front cross bolt safety i know it is ambidextrous you can uh, uh adjust it but i actually when when i'm when i'm shooting i'm or i'm holding it i'm holding it up in the air with my finger along the side of the receiver and then i'll actually reach down i do i don't think i have long fingers but it's just a quick uh, depression for me. And then my finger is right on the trigger when I'm ready to, ready to go to town, well, hold on, I'm ready to do business. But anyways, the, uh, the trigger is actually fairly crisp.
a, just a slight amount of, 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 of free travel. Oh, it's got some free travel in it. It's got some free travel in it. I don't know how much, unless I put a gauge on it. But one thing I will do is put a my Lyman trigger puller on it because I just want to see how much it takes to pull the trigger. Four pounds, 10 ounces. Four pounds, nine ounces. So yeah, we're looking at almost a five pound trigger, which is actually pretty, pretty reasonable, but it does have a fair, and this is just the stock, the, the stock trigger. Oh crap. So it's got some it's got some free travel to it. I do have a couple of shotguns where there is no free travel or very very little, which is beautiful. But anyways, I would recommend this to to somebody. I really do like the the Unico. I'm actually replacing the uh the, the the bolt release as well as the charging handle. I do have some parts on old order to uh, to replace them as I did cut my finger at one point on on this charging handle. Uh, but that's it. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you haven't yet clicked that uh, subscribe button, please go ahead and do so, as well as if you want or if you would, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, that's it for me. Always remember to keep both eyes on your target. Thank you, everyone.